So what is hydroblasting? What makes my results better than the rest? Stay tuned. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Craig Jenkins from Bendigo Hydroblasting and welcome to my channel. Well viewers, I'm constantly being asked, what is hydroblasting? What's the hydroblasting process? Uh, what makes your results better than everyone else's? Uh, what equipment do you use? So today, I thought I'd put together a short video and um, give you a look at all the gear I've got and um, Bit of a bit of a look at the process with blasting a few different bits and pieces. The hydroblasting theory in itself is a fairly simple theory. All you do is you just mix a bit of glass with water, uh, add some compressed air, blast your parts and they come out looking nice and shiny. The process on mixing the glass and the water and the air together uh, is a little bit more complicated uh, than it sounds. I'll give you a look now at how it's done. First up, this is the cabinet I use. This is a Dana Ridge cabinet, uh, came from Queensland in Australia. Uh, very good unit and um, very robust in its size. I'll give you a look inside now. As you can see, it's a fairly uh, big cabinet inside. You've got your gloves and your uh, blasting unit there. That's the turntable, that's rated to about 200 kilos, I think. Uh, so. Basically, that's about a cubic meter in there, so if I can get it in the door, I can blast it. So down in there is the sump. Now down in there, that's where the glass and the water live. It's a closed loop system. Uh, there's probably 120 litres of water down there and um, a few kilos of glass beads. That's the back of the unit there. Right there is the engine room. That's a four kilowatt three phase motor. And down here is the um, custom-built slurry pump. That's what allows you to pump the volumes required to do this sort of stuff uh, professionally. Okay, I just mentioned that that pump was uh, three-phase. I don't have three-phase in the workshop, so um, I went to a place in Melbourne and they built me this phase changer. So I get uh, single-phase in, three-phase out, and my machine works a treat with this and tucked in down there is my air supply as you'll see i've got two single phase 17 cfm compressors that run in tandem and these things allow me to run my air at about 80 psi consistently while i'm blasting hanging off the back here is my water cleaning system uh, because I run a closed loop water system, this unit is used to separate and remove oil and solids from the process. Uh, the pump on the back here uh, pumps clean water to my windscreen wiper and my rinse nozzle. So here's some parts here I did yesterday for, a, uh, for some Honda QR50s that are being restored. Uh, you can see how they come up, they're very nice. Um, what I'll do now is I've got a swing arm over here. You can see what that's like. I'll um, give that a bit of a pre-wash and get rid of those stickers and um, pop it in the machine and give you a look at the uh, machine operating. Okay, before we give this swing arm a bit of a wash, we'll seal up these bearings here um, so that we don't get any glass and water in there. All the little threaded holes into the guts of the uh, swing arm have been plugged up and then we'll get some uh, gasket stripper onto those stickers and try and get rid of those and all the glue before we blast it. And uh, just in passing too, with these swing arms, uh, these things I think are anodized in the factory to give them this real shiny finish on there. Uh, it'll probably take me about an hour to get rid of all that. <laughs> Okay, we'll just pop the swing arm in there now. We've plugged it up and um, got rid of the stickers and all the glue that was associated with those. So now I'll give them a wash and give you guys a look.
Well, that's got that swing arm done. Uh, if you want to achieve that result, you've definitely got to take it and use a machine that the big kids use. Um, honestly, if you uh, put that in your Kmart or your Walmart unit and, and ran your 40 or 50 PSI of air, you'd still be there in two weeks' time trying to get this result. All up, there was about an hour's blasting time in that swing arm, so pretty cost-effective way of getting the best bang for your buck. Oh, got a box of uh, gear wrenching parts to do uh, next, but I reckon that'll be a job for tomorrow. Well, folks, that's how we roll at Benninger Hydroblasting. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, check out all my other videos on YouTube, and don't forget to check my Facebook page out, Benninger Hydroblasting. Uh, thanks for watching. Until we meet again, keep smiling until then.